Metal cutting is a fundamental process in manufacturing and fabrication, shaping raw materials into functional parts for everything from cards to a skyscraper. But did you know there are numerous methods to cut and shape out the metal? In today's video, we are going to explore the various techniques used to cut metal, each technique with its unique advantages, applications, and challenges. Let's dive in. Abrasive water jet cutting. Water jet cutting is a versatile and precise metal cutting method that uses a high pressure stream of water to cut through hard materials. The high pressure water is mixed with an abrasive material that acts as a fluid intensifier. It enhances the impact of water jet pressure up to 90,000 psi, creating a powerful jet of water. The pressurized water is directed through a small nozzle creating a high velocity of focused and intense jet that can cut through materials by eroding them away. It can cut through up to 30 cm thickness of metal. It is a cold cutting method that does not generate heat or friction during the process, so it is less risky to use than thermal cutting methods. Water jet cutting is capable for cutting a wide range of materials, from soft materials like rubber to very hard materials like titanium. It provides highly accurate cut, making it suitable for complex shapes and detailed parts, as well as cutting beautiful shape and design using CNC machine. Water jet cutting can be slower compared to other cutting methods like laser cutting or plasma cutting, especially for thicker materials. Electrical Discharge Machining you must have seen such cuts of metal that become seamless when assembled. Such precision fitting cut is made by an electrical discharge machining. It is also known as a spark erosion, a non-traditional machining process that uses electrical spark to remove material from a workpiece. It converts electrical discharge into thermal energy that melts or vaporizes excess material from a workpiece. The process working EDM consists of two main parts, the electro rod and the workpiece. The electro rod is made from copper that discharges negative charge, and the workpiece is any material that has good electrical conductor, such as steel, titanium, carbide, and alloys. When 50 to 300 high voltage of negative and positive charge makes physical contact, 12,000 degrees Celsius of hot electrical spark generate between the electro rod and the workpiece material. As a result, Hot electrical spark erodes the workpiece, causing it to melt and vaporizes excess material from a workpiece. It is similar example to shortage of negative and positive electrical charge that create a spark and break down the material between them due to high potential difference in conductive materials. This phenomenon creates desired cuts and shapes out of the raw materials. There are two types of EDM based on their cutting mechanism, die sinking EDM and wire EDM. In die sinking EDM, a shaped tool of copper is used to create complex cavities in the workpiece. When the tool is brought close to the workpiece, controlled electrical discharges erode the material to create the desired shape. This method is ideal for creating intricate molds, dies, and complex cavities in the hard materials. Wire EDM uses a thin electrically charged copper wire as a cutting tool. The wire passes vertically through the workpiece, causing erosion across the material due to sparking. As a result, the material is very precisely cut. As the wire also burns during the process, fresh wire is constantly pulled from a spool during the cutting process to maintain the accuracy and precision of finished parts. Wire EDM is used for cutting intricate profiles, contours, and very precise parts out of hard metals. It is especially useful for cutting components like gears, extrusion dies, and delicate parts where conventional machining might induce stress. This whole process happens under the dielectric fluid. It acts as an insulator. Maintain a small gap between the electrode rod and the workpiece until a certain voltage is reached. The size of this gap is crucial for controlling the machining process. The dielectric fluid also helps to cool the process and flushes away the tiny particles that are eroded in the process. Engineers often have to choose EDM whenever cutting complex shapes and achieve ultimate perfections that are not possible with traditional methods. Electrochemical Machining Electrochemical machining is a non-traditional machining process that removes material from a workpiece through electrochemical dissolution. It is used for shaping hard metals and alloys which are difficult to machine with conventional methods. The interface and concept of electrochemical machining is measurably similar to electrical discharge machining, but there are few differences. The main component of ECM, or tool, workpiece, 
electrolyte and power supply. The tool is usually made of copper, brass or stainless steel. It is shaped to a desired form and discharges negative charge to the workpiece. The electrolyte is a conductive fluid that allows the flow of current between the workpiece anode and the tool cathode. This current flow is essential for electrochemical reaction that dissolves material from the workpiece. When the high ampere is and low voltage of DC power is applied to the tool and the workpiece, metal ions are dissolved from the workpiece surface. The electrolyte carries and flushes away dissolved material, preventing it from depositing on the tool and the workpiece. The precision and accuracy of electrochemical machining is more excellent than electrical discharge machining. ECM produces very smooth surface and high precision because there is no tool wear and the process does not introduce any thermal stress. Although EDM can also achieve high precision, but this process often leaves a recast layer on the surface that may require additional finishing steps. ECM can be processed any conductive materials, regardless of its hardnesses, including super alloys and hard metals, because ECM utilizes the principle of electrochemical reaction that operate only on 5 to 30 volts. But the EDM can only process hard metal that has good electrical conductivity, such as steel, titanium, carbide, and alloys, because EDM removes material through thermal erosion caused by electrical discharges sparks, which needs 300 volts to generate 12,000 degrees Celsius of hot electrical spark. Electrochemical machining is widely used in industries where intricate shape and high precision is required, such as manufacturing engine components, intricate molds, and medical tools and devices. Oxy fuel cutting. Oxy fuel cutting, also known as flame cutting, is a process used to cut through materials, primarily steel. It involves the use of a third that combines oxygen and a fuel gas to create high temperature flame that capable for melting the metal. The metal is preheated using a flame from the thirds. This flame raises the metal to its ignition temperature. Once the metal is free heated, a high pressure stream of pure oxygen is directed at the heated area. The oxygen reacts with the metal, causing it to oxidize and form slag, metal oxide, which is blown away by the oxygen jet and create a cut. The third is moved along the desired cut line and continuously preheating and cutting the metal. Oxy fuel cutting is particularly effective for cutting thick metal plates, typically up to 12 inches and more. It is commonly used in the scrap metal industry to cut down large metal pieces for recycling. Oxy fuel cutting equipment is a portable, making it ideal for field work. It can be also used for welding, brazing, and heating in addition to cutting. Oxy fuel cutting is primarily used for furious metal like steel and not effective on non-furious metal like aluminium and copper. The cut quality is generally lower compared to other cutting methods like plasma and laser cutting. The speed of cutting is slower than some modern cutting technologies. Handling oxy fuel cutting requires proper safety measures against high temperature flame and explosion of fuel gas tank. Laser cutting Laser metal cutting is a precise and versatile cutting process used in various industries to cut or engrave metals. A high-powered laser beam is generated typically using CO2, fibers, or anti-lasers. Fiber lasers are particularly common for metal cutting due to their efficiency and power. The laser beam is focused onto the metal surface using lenses, creating a highly concentrated area of energy. The spot where the laser hits become extremely hot, causing the metal to melt, burn, or vaporize. The intense heat from the laser melts the metal, and a gas, often nitrogen or oxygen, is blown across the cutting area to remove the molten material and clear the cut. The laser head moves along a fixed path, cutting the metal precisely according to the design. Laser cutting offers extremely fine and accurate cuts, making it ideal for cutting intricate designs and fabrication. It is faster than many traditional cutting methods, especially with thinner materials up to 25 mm, such as cutting the sheets of metal, steel, aluminium, brass, and titanium. Laser cutting is widely used in the automotive, aerospace, and electronic industries for creating customized metal parts and prototypes quickly and accurately. Plasma cutting Plasma cutting is a process that uses an accelerated jet of hot plasma to cut through electrically conductive materials like steel, aluminium, brass, and copper. The plasma turds generates an electric arc between an electro rod inside the turds and the workpiece. This arc ionizes a gas, usually air or an inert gas. 
turning it into plasma. The plasma, now a highly ionized, electrically conductive state of matter that is then injected through a small nozzle at a high speed, reaching temperature up to 16,000 degrees Celsius. Once the plasma jet hits the workpiece, it melts the material at the point of contact. The force of plasma blown away the molten metal, creating a precise cut with minimal waste. This process can be done manually with handheld plasma cutter or automatically using CNC plasma cutting machine for more complex and intricate cuts. Manual plasma cutters are great for small on-site jobs, while CNC machines are used in industrial settings where precision and efficiency are key. Plasma cutting offers several advantages over other cutting methods. It is faster than oxyfuel cutting, especially on thinner materials, and can produce very precise cuts with minimal material waste. It is also incredibly versatile, capable for cutting through a variety of conductive materials, even those with rusty or painted surfaces. This makes plasma cutting invaluable in industries like automotive manufacturing, where precision parts are essential in construction, where structural components need to be cut to exact specification, and even in art where intricate metal designs come to life. Plasma cutting is an incredibly useful tool. It is important to remember safety. The process generates intense light, noise, and potentially harmful forms, so proper protective equipment is a must. These were some modern and advanced cutting methods. Let's talk about traditional cutting methods. Milling Milling takes metal cutting to the next level, providing the ability to create complex shapes and surfaces. In milling, a rotating cutting tool, typically with multiple cutting edges, removes material from a workpiece. This process can create flat surfaces, grooves, and even intricate designs. Milling machines come in different configurations, such as vertical and horizontal mills is suited for its specific task. The versatility of milling makes it indispensable in manufacturing processes where precision and detail are paramount. Turning Turning is another fundamental cutting method, primarily used for shaping cylindrical parts. In this process, the workpiece is rotated while a cutting tool, also known as tool wear, moves along its surface, removing material to create the desired shape. Lathe is the machine typically used for turning operations. Turning method is ideal for producing parts like shafts, brushing, and pulleys where symmetry and smooth finishes are crucial. With CNC technology, turning can achieve high precision and consistency even for complex geometrics. Searing Cutting Searing is a mechanical cutting process that involves using a sharp blade to cut through a material, typically metal or fabric. The cutting action is achieved by applying a searing force, which causes the metal to fracture along the specific line. In searing, the metal is placed between the two blades, upper and lower. The lower blade is stationary, while the upper blade is movable. The upper blade is forced downward, applying pressure on the material. As the pressure increases, the material reaches its shear strength causing it to fracture along the line where the blade meets. The material is then separated into two distinct pieces. The gap between the blades, known as clearance, is crucial. Too much or too little clearance can lead to poor quality cuts. Typically, the clearance is set based on the type and thickness of metal being cut. If the clearance is not set properly, shearing can cause deformation at the edges of metal, such as boards or wrapping which may require additional finishing. Searing cutter is a versatile cutting method that can cut the materials like metals, fabrics, and plastics. It is used in various machines and tools, such as glutine searing machine, bench searing tool, throttless searing tool, alligator searing machine, rotary searing machine, slitting machine, hydraulic searing machine, shredding machine, nibbler, electric rubber cutter, scissor, and beard trimmer. Searing is primarily used for producing a straight cut. It cannot cut complex shapes and curved cut. It is highly efficient process, capable for cutting large quantities of material quickly. Sewing Sewing is one of the most straightforward methods for cutting metal. It involves using a blade with teeth to slice through the material. There are various types of sewing methods such as band sewing, hack sewing, and circular sewing. Band saws, for instance, use a continuous loop of tooth metal to cut through large metal bars, while hack saws are commonly used for smaller tasks. The primary advantage of sewing is its ability to make long, straight cut with relatively smooth finish. Grinding 
Grinding is all about achieving fine finishes and precision cut. Unlike the other cutting methods, grinding uses an abrasive wheel to remove a small amount of material from the surface of the workpiece. This process is particularly useful for finishing hardened materials as well as cutting the metal. There are different types of grinding methods, including surface grinding, cylindrical grinding, and centerless grinding. From refining flat surfaces to smoothing out cylindrical objects, grinding is often the final step in the manufacturing process, ensuring a perfect finish. Drilling Drilling is the go-through method. When you need to create holes in the metal, using a rotating drill bit, this process removes material from the workpiece to form a hole of a specific diameter. From handheld drill to massive industrial machines, the principle remains the same. The precision of drilling can be fine-tuned with the right drill bit and machine, allowing for everything from tiny precise holes to large opening. It is a fundamental process in metal working, especially when you need to create holes for screws, bolts or other fascinators. As we have seen, there are numerous ways to cut metal each with its own set of advantages, challenges, and ideal applications. Whether it is traditional cutting methods and advanced cutting techniques like laser cutting and EDM, the choice of method depends on the material, the desired outcome, and the specific needs for the project. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insight into this fascinating world of manufacturing and fabrication. Let us know in the comments which cutting methods you found most interesting.